Jupiter Media presents Destination Canada Promoting Canadian education and development of Nepalese diaspora in Canada Hello and Namaste. Welcome to Destination Canada Television. So Canada is being crazy market for international students nowadays. And talking about the popular college and university, they are visiting international market and promoting their college and university courses and international students lifestyle. To update you about the study opportunities in Canada, today we have very special guest from Kodestonga College who is none other than Vice President International, Mr. Vanu Vasis. Let's welcome him to the show. Would you please tell us something about your Nepal visit for this time? So um, this visit was actually a very sudden, sudden visit. And I'm meeting a lot of my partners who work with Conestoga. And through them, we are trying to meet students who have applied to come and study with us in May and in September. It's very, very important that students get the right information before they start uh, their visa process, etc. And also, I want them to be better prepared, um, for, be it housing or, or any other things which they are looking for. So I'm here for that touch base right now. There are multiple colleges and universities in Canada for international students. So how do you present Conestoga College? So Conestoga is one of the public colleges in Ontario. There are 24 of them and, and we, are, we are one of them. All the colleges, uh, the, the community colleges in Ontario do a fabulous job in, in providing education and amazing careers after that. Um, if I have to speak specifically about Conestoga, Conestoga is located in Waterloo region, which is the technology triangle of Canada and second largest Silicon Valley of the world, that Toronto uh, Waterloo corridor. Um, we offer over 270 programs to our international students. Overall, we have over 300 programs, but 270 are offered to international. And our specialty where a lot of Nepalese students choose us is IT, engineering, health, and our trades programs. We also have uh, media studies, business, hospitality, liberal studies, etc. But the first few which I mentioned, that's where most of our Nepalese students come and study. We offer one-year certificate, two-year diplomas, three-year advanced diplomas, four-year bachelor's degree, one of the highest in Canada, and one to two-year postgraduate programs, again over 100 postgraduate programs in various fields we offer to our international students. Now the education is pillar of success for each individual students. So talking about the career outcomes, what are the opportunities for international students after completing the Kanishtonga College degrees? That's a very big question and I mean, I'll, I'll need a lot of time to talk about all the diplomas and the career outcomes. But overall, what we have seen is around 89-90% is uh, the college overall placement rate after they complete uh, the program at Conestoga at any level. Nepalese students are choosing Canada with their high preference. So talking about Nepalese student development in Conestoga College, would you please share something about it? So one of the things which I see that how Nepalese students are slightly different is I think they have a reality check before they, they leave Nepal. It's very, very evident by the focus they have, the seriousness they have, and they are very eager to learn and change and adapt to the new country, to the new surrounding. And uh, they have been very, very successful studying at Conestoga for sure, but I'm also in touch with a lot of my colleagues who are working in different colleges, and I get a similar kind of feedback that Nepalese students in Canada in general are doing very, very well. And Nepal, I think, because of those reasons, Nepal has become a very favorite country for Canadian schools to recruit students. I know how Australia was at one time very aggressive here, and I think that's the same reason. Nepalese students are very focused, very serious about their studies. They really want to make a difference in their own life and uh, look forward to a great career after completing their, their programs. People are thinking that Canada is impossible now after changing rules. So how do you assure that Canada is still open for the genuine students, those who are trying to get the higher education and best institutions. I'm, I'm glad that you use the word rumors, and they are rumors, and I see some of the bad actors just to get more views on their Instagram or likes, etc. They are, they are just escalating it more than it is. Um, have there been some changes? Absolutely, yes. Um, were they 
are they good changes? I would say for most part, absolutely, yes, they are. I was speaking to one of the parents and they said, there's a cap on international students. I said, there was a cap always. And he asked me, what do you mean? I said, if I can take 30 students in my class, there's a cap. So the cap was always there. And the, my, my follow-up question with the parent was, what was your child's chances of getting a visa prior to this announcement? And he said, 50%. I said, it is still the same. It's 50%. So nothing has changed. The only thing which I think, two things which I think, this is my personal opinion, where I think there is a slight uh, clarity needed and could be a slight challenge, first of all is the attestation letter. Because of that, a lot of students are not able to apply for their visas. So hopefully by next week, we should get some clarity how this attestation letter would work and we will be able to provide that to the students. Number two, this was the law always, that you can work up to three years in Canada or the length of the program, whichever, whichever one is shorter. So a two-year uh, diploma or postgraduate program, a student technically can work only for two years. That was the law. Nothing has changed. But I think now it will be implemented a little bit more seriously and students who were counting on working for three years after completing a two-year program, there will be a slight challenge there. But other than that, I don't see a big um, disruption. Yeah. right to to our industry i'm very very positive i'm here my entire team from canada they are all over the world traveling right now promoting canada promoting conestoga and, and the quality programs we offer vano we are at the end of this session so finally what's your message to the prospective naval students and parents those who are trying to get core knowledge about the study in canada and opportunities so first of all i would i would like to tell the naval students and parents that Canada is a very, very welcoming country. It's a land of immigrants and forever, I've been doing this for 25 years now and forever my, my message to students and parents is that in Canada when you are there, people would come to know that you are an international student only when you tell them. Otherwise people would just assume that you are a Canadian, number one. Number two, please do your homework. There are all kinds of actors in the market. There are people like Hari Khatri who, who runs a Can Consulting who gives a very, very honest and clear picture about, about Canada and the, and the city you'll be staying in, the college you'll be studying in. But there are a lot of people who do not have enough information and they just do a guesswork and that's what makes things a little bit difficult for you. So please do your homework. Um, ask questions as, as much as you can. Once you get your visa and you're in Canada, things might be a little too late by then. So try to do your homework prior to things. Reach out to the college. We would be giving you some information. Plus, connect with good um, agents in your city or in your, in your country. And the third thing which I have always been telling students is once you get your visa, please don't forget where you're coming from. Please don't forget the purpose and the goal you had. And I, during orientation, I say this to the international student all the time, focus, purpose, and consistency. Please keep these things in mind all the time. I came to Canada as an international student and I have seen thousands of students coming to uh, Canada as an international student and they're doing very, very well in life today. So can you. So thank you very much for listening to me and I again look forward to welcoming you in Canada. Vanu, thank you so much for your valuable time and thoughts. Destination Canada, promoting Canadian education and development of Nepalese diaspora in Canada.